All right, everybody, welcome to the Ask Dr. Khan Show. This is episode 108 of the Ask Dr. Khan Show. My name is Dr. Peter Khan. Every Monday at 12.30 Arizona time, I bring you content that's going to help you get well and stay well. And we help you solve your health, health puzzles. People usually come to us after they exhaust all other options with other doctors, and they try something natural with supplements, and it still doesn't work, and then they end up in our office. We have a uh, Facebook channel that has uh, weekly live shows. We also have our YouTube channel, which is wildly popular. You go to DC at YouTube to find over 500 videos on YouTube now and growing. So today, we're going to talk about how to protect your most important organ, which is your brain. Your brain is the most important organ you have because you experience your life through your brain, right? You have the five senses. You experience your life through sensory information. And based on the senses, you make choices and you act out. You do things based on your motoric function, your muscle function. So you dance, you pick up grocery, you hug your kids, you kiss your wife. This is all done through motor, muscle function, and it's all controlled by the brain. So your brain is your most important organ. Your quality of life is determined by your brain function or the lack thereof. That's why Alzheimer, de dementia, like Alzheimer, Parkinson, and these various conditions, even milder versions of it, like brain fog and depression, anxiety, and memory loss, and difficulty concentrating, can't get the words out, numbness, tingling, vertigo, these are all neurological symptoms that can really impair your quality of life. So if you or someone you know has chronic neurological challenges like brain fog, memory issue, or depression, anxiety, the chronic vertigo or balance issue, or even autonomic dysfunction like POTS, postural orthostatic hypotension, or you have some type of neuropathy or chronic pain even. These can all be neurological in its cause. Now, obviously with brain, brain is highly dependent on fuel and activation. So let's talk about brain function. So we have brain. And brain is highly dependent on fuel and activation. I can't say this enough to you to teach you because this dictates your brain function. Fuel comes in two forms. It comes in the form of oxygen and glucose. So oxygen obviously comes from breathing, right? So if you shallow breathe, you have poor posture, forward head carriage, and your ribs are not expanding properly, you can have decreased oxygen because you're just not breathing. Or you're constantly stressed, you don't take deep breath, you don't meditate, you can have poor oxygen. Or if you're anemic, if you have anemia, then you're not going to be able to absorb or get oxygen into a tissue because your red blood cell's not working. So that can be an issue. If you have poor circulation, circulation issues, where you have cold hands, cold feet, your nose is cold, you have hair loss, these are signs of poor circulation. You can't get blood flow to the brain, your brain's going to suffer as well. Okay? The other side is glucose. So that's come from the food that you eat. That's why, as a functional medicine doctor, I'm keenly interested in making sure that your blood sugar is functionally optim optimally. Many times people do nutrition stuff. Or they go see a health coach or nutritionist or whatever. They end up jumping five steps ahead. Oh, take a hormone. You need some hormone. Everybody gets bioidentical hormone therapy. And nobody's looking at the foundations, which is glucose. This is the driving force for your brain. You need to have proper blood sugar function. Both high blood sugar and low blood sugar both are bad for your brain. So you got to stabilize your blood sugar first. Once we have fuel in place, you have energy source, the next step for your brain is activation. That means your brain cells have to be used. You don't use it, you lose it. This is ever more true for your brain. Okay. So what does activation mean? A lot of people think activation just means you know, how do you activate your brain? You're, you're playing a game, right? Or uh, uh, playing Sudoku. That could be activating because you're doing some kind of math, right? You can do math calculations. You can, you know, solve a problem. These are all brain activation. So you can do uh, solving problems, okay? You can play Sudoku, right? Even playing chess, right? 
you know, just using your brain in some fashion. But guess what? The most important way to stimulate the brain, and I learned this when I gone through my neurology program to get my neurology degree, the most important activation for your brain is actually proprioception. Proprioception is the most important stimulus for the brain. What does that mean? That means joint position sense. Which means just move. Movement is such an important stimulus for your brain. Because every time you move your joint or you're walking, you're moving your body in any time, especially spinal movement, that's why yoga and doing things you know, with your midline is really important, dancing. Movement is so important because that movement stimulates the receptors inside that joint. And that movement stimulate receptor stimulates your brain. And that's a very important source of activation that keep the brain cells healthy and alive. So people who are sedentary, you think being sedentary and sit around in your butt just makes you fat. It does that, but it does much more. It literally can cause your brain to degenerate. Just so you know, I am today, if you're not registered for the Autoimmune Vitality Summit, I'm one of the featured speakers on the Autoimmune Vitality Summit today. It's a free online summit that you can sign up for free. You can just go to, I'm going to put this in hot red so you see it. Go to askdrkhan.com. That's our website. And just type in slash free summit access on one word. Then you get to get a free ticket to watch this online event. Basically, you get these videos delivered to you. You only get 24 hours to watch it. It's free. After that, you got to pay for them. So you get 24 hours. Go to askdrkhan.com free online, free summit access. You get to watch me and three other speakers today talking about autoimmune how to protect your organs and your brain through different natural protocols, through diet, nutrition, supplement change. So go to AskDrCon.com, free summit access, to access the free summit today. I'm one of the speakers. If you go there, you'll see my mug. Sign up today. You get to see these awesome presentations where I go in depth about this. People who have watched it told me it was great. Lots of great information. You won't regret going to it. Again, it's free on me if you go there and sign up. Okay, so continue with this brain, okay? So fuel and activation are the key to helping you preserving your brain cells. See, you cannot treat Alzheimer's because Alzheimer's is a condition where your brain cells have degenerated. You lost brain cells. Your brain cells have died off and you don't get those back. Enough brain cells die off, then you start to lose function. That's where the memory loss comes from. That's where you get lost. That's where you don't recognize family members. You don't remember names. When you get to that point where you already have those problems, it's too late. You got to start the process now to protect it. In your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, you can't wait till by the time you have it. Now, certainly, people are getting early Alzheimer dementia, all because the food that we're eating is full of toxins and laden with sugar, and people are just not eating properly. So definitely, diet is a big part of it. Anemia could be due to absorption issues, leaky gut, low enzyme production. So we got to address this. Now, obviously, there's another component to this. I talked about fuel and activation. Another really important piece to this is inflammation. And I talked about that in previous week's Ask Dr. Khan show. And when your brain is inflamed, you activate the microglial cells. These glial cells are basically immune cells of your brain. And when they get turned on, they don't know how to shut off. So it basically triggers inflammation that just goes and goes and goes forever until you put the fire out. So then the question is, how do we put the fire out? There's nutrition, there's food that you eat that can do that. There's supplements you can take to do that. But at the end of the day, you've got to address the underlying root causes. And these root causes is going to come down to some type of food sensitivity or chronic infections and very commonly environmental toxins, either from heavy metals like mercury, lead, different type of metals, or from environmental toxins such as pesticides, plastic, phthalates, a lot of different chemicals in our environment that are neurotoxic that can damage the brain. 
and the accumulation of that over many decades is when you start to get Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson. So dementia and Alzheimer's is not an old person disease, it's a disease of degeneration. Now obviously the longer you are on this planet, the more time you have to accumulate toxins and infection and these root causes that degenerate your brain. But certainly you know people who are older who have really, really good brain function because they maintain themselves. They ate well, they manage stress, they take care of themselves. So folks, take care of yourselves, then your brain will last you a long, long time. If you don't, it won't go so well. If you know someone who has dementia, Parkinson, Alzheimer's, you know how difficult to see your loved ones going through that. So you can change your family tree by changing your lifestyle and working with a doctor that can help you to identify the root causes and start changing the course. We change people's lives. Our clients that go through a program, they usually come to us having severe brain fog, severe energy loss, severe depression, severe digestive issues. And they get that turned around because we go through a very unique roadmap to help them identify each of these root causes. And through detoxification, customized eating plan, customized lifestyle plan, we help people change their lives. This is so valuable that I cannot not share with you folks. And please help me share this with other people so that they know that there's a solution for them. And that's why I'm on this free summit, sharing that news. And it's free for you to access. Go there and share the link with other people so you can get the free information and do something about it. And if you need more help, I'm here to help you. Give us a call, 480-988-6269, or you can private message us on Facebook, or you can email us at info at askdrcon.com. Now what I'm going to show you is the effect of blood sugar, oxygen, all these problems have on brain endurance. Many people have symptoms of low brain endurance. What are symptoms of low brain endurance look like? Well, what happens is if you're doing certain tasks, like if you're trying to read, you might fall asleep after a while you read. Or you're just not able to retain information. You read, it's like you read it, but you don't retain anything. That's a sign of poor brain endurance because your brain cells are just not getting fit, fit, fed with fuel or it's not getting activated or you're really inflamed. You may also have a problem with a decrease of attention span. You just can't pay attention that long. You know, you're sitting there, you're trying to pay attention to a class or to a presentation or at work at a meeting. You just fall asleep or you're just having a hard time staying awake and paying attention. You may also have mental fatigue, especially when you do something that challenges you. You're trying to finish a project, you just, after a while, you just can't do it anymore. And you get scatterbrained. You get disorganized. You just can't stay on task. That's a sign of decreased brain endurance. You may have trouble learning new things, right? At work, maybe they start a new procedure, you just can't pick up the new procedure. You can only do stuff they've been doing for a long time, but new stuff, you just can't pick up. You can't learn a new language, you can't learn a new skill. That's also a sign of decreased brain function. You may have trouble uh, staying focused for extended period of time, even driving. You know, driving takes a lot of brain power because you have to see, you have to pay attention, there's motor coordination. If you drive, if you get really tired after you drive, you get home from driving, you're just like, man, I have to get out of the car. That's a problem. You have a brain endurance issue. If you experience fatigue when you read faster than before, meaning before you used to be able to read you know, a book or read for an hour, and now you can only read two minutes and you can't do it anymore. That's a degradation of that function. That's not because you're getting old. Don't say that, because that's not true. It has to do with your brain degenerating because you're not getting enough fuel, activation, or even flame. Your brain is degenerating full. That's a sign. Your body's giving you a sign for you to do something different to fix it. Get help. Get help. We can help you, okay? Also, you may experience fatigue when you drive. You may need caffeine just to stay alert. If you need caffeine to stay awake, you got some brain degeneration going on. You got to get that addressed. And just taking some supplements won't do it. You got to do a holistic change. You may have to detox. Without detoxification, it won't do it. Some people just change the diet. But remember, eating healthy does not get rid of an infection or toxin. You got to do both. You got to do all of it, okay? Uh, you also have overall function that impair your daily life. You feel depressed. You feel you're losing interest in activity. You feel like you just don't enjoy things anymore. You have trouble getting the words out. You don't feel like going out. You feel like a social recluse because when you go out, you feel like it's too much effort. It's like you, you just you get social anxiety. These are all signs of decreased brain function. Even digestion problem. You get gas, bloating, reflux, heartburn. You may have decreased brain function because you can't innervate the gut to get the gut to make digestive enzyme. 
decreased brain function can also relate into chronic pain. People may have neurogenic pain, meaning that because the brain's not functioning as well, your sensitivity to different stimuli, where you get touch normally, that doesn't hurt. But now it's like even light touch becomes painful for you. This is called fibromyalgia. So there may be a neurogenic cause for fibromyalgia or chronic pain. So all of these things need to be looked at in order for you to get better. Okay, so those are some of the symptoms. Let me show you how brain degeneration can actually manifest, okay? So what happens is we have mitochondria. Mitochondria are the cellular organelles that produces ATP. ATP is energy made by the cell. This is what keeps you alive. If you have decreased mitochondrial function, you're going to have decreased brain endurance. If you have anemia, as I mentioned earlier, or you have low blood pressure, right, meaning poor circulation, that can also cause decreased brain endurance. If you have blood sugar, blood sugar dysfunction, that can also cause brain endurance issue. If you have neurotransmitter problems, Neurotransmitters are chemical made by your brain to help transmit chemical message from one brain cell to another. If you have neurotransmitter issues, you can also de experience decreased brain function. Now, many times neurotransmitter issues are caused by anemia and blood sugar problem. Not necessarily neurotransmitter itself, but it can certainly happen as well. If you have poor essential fatty acid levels, essential fatty acid, that's like your omega-3, EPA, DHA. If you have low essential fatty acid level, that can also cause decreased brain function. Inflammation, as I mentioned earlier. If you have increased inflammation, that can also drive brain endurance and brain impairment. Obviously, this inflammation can be driven by leaky gut. It can be driven by malabsorption. It can be driven by toxins and infections. So all these things can drive a problem within your brain. And what this is going to all lead to, basically, all of this leads to decreased brain endurance. It's going to lead to, because your brain cannot function when any of these factors are present. So how can you not check if these factors are not present? Your regular primary care, you know, doctor practice and the medical model do not check these things because these are not in the realm of medicine. These are in the realm of nutrition. Remember, medical doctors are trained to prescribe drugs and do surgery, which is very important for acute injury. Like if you get a bullet wound, you get a car accident, you need medical doctors. But when you have these problems, these are nutritional issues. And MDs are medical doctors specializing medicine, which is drugs and surgery. These are nutritional issues, which they do not, it's not their domain. That's my domain. That's what we do. And we help you run the appropriate test to identify the root cause so that you can address these brain endurance issues. And when you have brain endurance issues, it's going to start to lead to uh, decreased work capacity. So you're not able to work. You're not able to function and think and do the tasks that you normally do. You may have poor daily function. Or it may be difficult for you to even interact with your family member or socially or to remember things or remember lists when you go shopping. You may have chronic fatigue. Remember last, in the last series, the last seven videos, I talk about seven factors of fatigue. You can go back to our Facebook timeline and watch the previous episodes, but I talk about how fatigue is a brain symptom. So obviously when you have decreased brain endurance, this can lead to all of this things. Fatigue being one of them. Lastly, you can have depression. Right? Depression is not a chemical deficiency per se. Depression really at the root of it is a decrease in brain function. When your brain's not able to function because of low energy, inflammation, you're going to experience depression. 
So instead of just taking Prozac, a drug that masks the symptom, that doesn't even fix anything, you want to address the underlying root cause. Okay? And when you have all these the consequences of low brain endurance, these are what you experience, but what happens is at the end, what's going to lead to is neuro degeneration. That means your brain cells die off, your brain cells, you lose brain cells faster than its time. You lose brain cell faster than the rate of aging to the point you start to lose function. And that's really what Alzheimer's dementia. We all lose brain cells as we get older, but it doesn't mean we lose function because our body has an amazing ability to build neuroplasticity to work around the brain cells that are damaged and be able to make new pathways so you make up for the function that you lost. But when you lose plasticity or your rate of degeneration is too fast for your body to develop plasticity, you start to lose function, and that's Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson, all these neurodegenerative changes, and you start losing quality of life. And you can reverse all of it. You can reverse all of it if you get to it soon. You have to not let the process go too long. Many of these things are reversible if you get the right help, and we're here, here to help you. 480-988-6269, or you can private messages on Facebook to request a case review consultation, or you can email us at info at askdrkhan.com. Thank you so much for watching today. Again, sign up at the Autoimmune Summit in that website, and I'll put it on the link as well, is askdrkhan.com free summit access. Very simple, just like the way it's spelled. Go there, sign up for the free Autoimmune Vitality Summit that's going on right now. I'm the speaker today. I'm so excited, I'm pumped. So please support me, uh, go to that website and sign up for the summit. You get to watch the summit for free the next 24 hours. And then you'll have to pay to buy them, which it's well worth your time to buy them because you're gonna get so much great info. However, you can watch it all for free on me if you go to this website, Free Summit Access. I'll put it in the link as well. So thank you so much. Please, if you like this video, please share. Please like, please engage, please ask any questions you like in the comment section. I answer every comment myself personally. I want to engage with you. I want to engage dialogue. I want to engage you so that you get the help you need, so that you can be healthy and you can make a bigger tendon as well. Thank you so much. See you next week. That's not enough. You need both. So this is a very unique product. It's a powder form. Again, mixes really well with the other uh, neurometabolic detox for detoxification support. Okay. The next thing that we use is called Cholesis Pro. So this product specifically supports gallbladder function. Phase three, right here. See, things are designed in the sequence so that it works for you, okay? This is just through working with thousands of people and finding right combination of the product that work together. So this Colossus Pro helps support gallbladder function. Now, if you say, hey, my gallbladder's been removed, what then? Well, then you got a big problem because you basically have a disability, right? Just like if they amputated my right arm, I can still live, but not as good if I have both arms. I like to have both arms. I can still survive with one. I can still survive with one kidney, but I like to have both. You can still survive with no gallbladder. You're better off if you had it because the gallbladder helps you concentrate the bile and through neurological control, it squirts the bile into your stomach when you need it. When you don't have a gallbladder, they surgically remove it. Your liver still makes bile. Bile is produced in the liver. The gallbladder is just a place to store it and concentrate it. And the bile also has neurological control through the brain so that it can contract and push the bile an additional amount when you eat a high fat meal so you have more bile to digest that. Now you call the, cut out the gallbladder, when you eat a fatty meal, there's no brain connection there because there's no gallbladder to squirt extra bile into your stomach. So when you eat a fatty meal, you don't have enough bile to process that fatty meal. So you get greasy food upset you, fried food upset you, you get gas, you get bloating, that's why. But in addition, you also don't bind to the toxin very well. So toxin tend to recirculate and that's what's causing problems. So this product will be great for anyone with gallbladder challenges or anyone who have gallbladder removed and need that support so your body can break down the fatty nutrients better as well as help you with
that phase three detoxification process. Very important, okay? So those are just some of the tools that we use in my practice, in my functional medicine practice, to support our clients in their detoxification journey and help them on the way back to health. So this concludes our seven week uh, fatigue series on the seven factors that can cause fatigue. If this resonates with you, this information makes sense. Uh, number one, first, please help like the video, comment why you like it, and share this video with as many people as possible. People need to hear that there's natural ways that you can heal the body, but there's a right way to do it naturally and there's a wrong way to do it naturally. And many people are doing it the wrong way because they think just buying a bottle of supplement is natural, so it's all good. Not necessarily. You gotta do it in a specific sequence. Share the video. Secondly, if you need help, give us a call. I'm here to help you. Okay, we consult with clients all over North America in the world through video consultation. So it doesn't matter where you are, I can order lab tests for you. We have special uh, advanced lab assessment tools using specific test kits. We can do urine tests, we can do saliva tests, different tests that'll measure toxicity, measure hormone levels, measure different things like that that'll help us to get a baseline measurement of what's the underlying root cause or the root cause of the root cause and then put you on a plan that'll systematically work out these root causes and help you achieve the health that you always wanted or get back to the health that you used to have. So feel free to message us and request a case review or you can call 480-988-6269 to schedule a case review. Important, most importantly, I want to make a special announcement today and I have a special contest and the giveaway I'm going to do. So a special announcement is that I am going to be in my first summit interview. Yay! This is called the Autoimmune Vitality Summit where 30 experts in autoimmune treatment whether it's nutritionists or medical doctors or DOs or functional medicine docs like myself, it's going to be on this summit. So it's going to run from May 21st through May 28th. It's called the Autoimmune Vitality Summit. I'll put a link in the post so that you guys can click on it and sign up. Would you support me in my first summit interview? This is a big deal for me. I'm really excited to really have greater reach and greater impact. During the summit, I'm going to be talking about exactly the things that I'm passionate about, which is how autoimmune can affect brain, how autoimmune can affect neurodegeneration. So that's my topic that I'll be presenting. So please help me and support me, and please share this information with as many people possible. I'm going to put another post that will have just that with a link that you can click on it to sign up for the summit. The summit is free to listen to. During the summit that week, all the content is free. So you get to listen to it for free for a whole week, and if you really like it, you say, wow, this has just got tons of jewels. You can also purchase the summit. And there's special deals going on for that as well. So you can purchase a summit and you get uh, MP3 recordings, you get transcripts and so forth. So it's a great deal. So sign up and you can listen to it for free and you can purchase it afterward if you like. Again, this is my first summit. Please help me in supporting me. I'm going to put the link in the post so you can click on it and sign up. So in order to celebrate this, I'm going to do a Facebook giveaway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away one free bottle of this Turmero Potency. Now this is a very unique product. It's turmeric that's emulsified. Emulsified means it's made to be fat soluble. For people with gallbladder challenges, this works great. And this turmeric potency is made in a very special way with different type of fats in it, like MCT oil and so forth, to help with its absorption. And it's very high potency. That's why it's called Turmero Potency. In fact, each cap's gel cap, it's a liquid in a gel cap. Each gel cap contains one gram of turmeric. And uh, the therapeutic dose is usually I give people two capsules twice a day. And usually at that level, we can actually decrease CRP or inflammation marker. People will experience relief in joint stiffness, pain, inflammation levels. Uh, maintenance dose, typically people take uh, two cap once a day. Uh, but therapeutic dose is two cap twice a day. Now this product regularly is on our website at neurometabolicsupplements.com for $49. I'm going to give a bottle of this away for free if you will sign up for the Autoimmune Vitality Summit. Again, it's free to sign up. It's free to listen to. You're going to get 30 great experts interviews. And uh, so what you do, you sign up and you're going to screenshot after you have signed up and you're going to private message me that screenshot so that I know that you signed up. I'm going to pick one random person to give away this bottle of Tamero Potency, which is a $49 value. Okay? So please help me and support me with that. Now this Facebook giveaway will end 
this Wednesday. So you got three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So if you didn't see it today, you watch this on the replay, you'll be able to catch it. Uh, but again, sign up using the link in the post. And when you sign up, screenshot. I'll give the instruction in the post as well. Screenshot it so I can see that you signed up. And then send that to me. And I'm going to pick one random person to give away this bottle. And I'll announce the winner on Facebook as well. So thank you so much for watching today. I love you guys. Thank you for sharing the message of wellness and hope. And please help me share this video and share my uh, summer interview uh, with other people so other people can sign up and enjoy that as well. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next week.